Okay, y'all. So this is uh, the food for the Foothills Trail. We're giving ourselves seven days to get it done. This is just mine. Billy hasn't done his yet because I'm taking up the whole table. So I just wanted to kind of give you really briefly um, some of the stuff I'm doing. Um, I have all of my dinners um, individually packaged out. So I have, you know, some mashed potatoes and um, some chicken Alfredo noodle type things and some teriyaki noodles um, for dinners. And then for lunches, I'll be doing um, some tortilla with peanut butter and jelly. Um, I like to have my chips or something, so I'll have some little goldfish crackers. And then also I'm going to do um, some tortilla with um, some mozzarella string cheese and some pepperoni slices. For breakfast, I'll be doing on some days grits and other days the Nature Valley bars. Um, I also threw in my snacks. So I have peanut butter crackers. I have raisins. Um, I I don't know what I might want or what I might not want. So um, getting multiple things. There's still some things that I'm going to have to repackage. Um, I like cookies, so I'm going to bring me some cookies. going to repackage some chicken. Um, to put in the different meals. I love dried cherries, so I'm bringing some of those for snacks. And then, of course, um, stuff that I can just pop in my mouth as we're walking down the trail. Um, we got these hydration packs. And this is a passion fruit. And these are hydration multipliers. So you put one of these in a 16-ounce um, bottle of water, and it's supposed to be equal to like three or four bottles of water. So as hot as it's going to be, um, that's what we're going to do to help with hydration. And also, I'm not all, always a big, huge fan of just plain water. So I got some Propel packets and some, um, what flavor did I get? Strawberry, wild well, strawberry. So um, that's the food that I'm taking with me. This should be seven days. Our um, shuttle driver was awesome, and he's going to do us a food drop. So we don't have to carry all seven days with us um, the entire time, which is really exciting for us. So um, I'll give you a view of Billy's when he has his set out. And then we'll also um, do some other prelim stuff so that you can see what else we've got going on. Okay, so I showed you my food setup. I'm just going to want to show you a little bit of Billy's. I'm not going to get into anything crazy with his um, because he's kind of got his, he's not got totally got his finished yet but basically he's got his his drink stuff he's got the same um, hydration multiplier that I had but he's also a coffee drinker um, so he's bringing his coffee um, as far as snacks he's got his he likes cheese on cheese ooh spicy cheddar growl um, pepper jack cheese again spicy and I think that's some pepperonis he's got and then he's got some pepperoni sticks. And this is just in case we need energy chew. I don't know that we'll use them, but we thought we'd get them. Um, he is a Skittle loving guy. So um, I'm going to bring, he's got him some Skittles. And something we're going to try. And I don't know how well it's going to work, but we're going to try it. And hopefully we don't die of food poisoning out on the trail. Is he cooked some sausage. Um, and then he sealed it. So we're doing this as a test and we're going to open this like Thursday evening and if it's good then we're going to bring some so we can have it with our grits because you know it's always good to have a little sausage with your breakfast. Um, and then he's got some mashed potatoes and he does like ramen so he did some spicy shrimp ramen. He's got some oatmeal. Um, he's got a backpacker pantry, the breakfast scramble. Delicious. He's got some chicken Alfredo. Um, this is just one of those little microwave meals, but he's going to put it in his pot and cook it. Um, he's going to repackage it so um, he doesn't have to worry about um, carrying all the packaging. And then he got some curry, and he likes him Pop-Tarts. So he's going to have some Pop-Tarts. Um, and then he's got, you know, he is, he is being adventurous, and he's trying some tamales. Um, and then he's kind of got a lot of the same stuff I did. So, you know, he got some loaded potato soup, some mashed potatoes. Um, he's got smoked trout, um, which sounds absolutely disgusting to me, but he says it's delicious. Um, and then he's got honey stingers and some bottle caps. So that's kind of the rundown on 
his food, nothing crazy, nothing outrageous. Um, but he's still separating it out to get it ready for what he's carrying the first couple of days versus what he's doing in the food drop. So, um, stay tuned for another, another, uh, episode of what is Billy and Stephanie carrying with us. Okay. So Billy has already gotten his bag packed. Um, so I can't really show you what he's taking, but just to give you a little, um, snapshot of what I'm taking in my bag. I'm not going to spend a ton of time on it because I have done a couple of little gear videos. But just to show you, um, I do have my sleeping bag. That's my Nemo uh, Forte. Um, I have my sleeping pad, my pillow. Um, in my bag, or in my sleeping um, bag already, um, I've got my liner. And here is my tent. Um, so that is my Mo Trail. Um, I am taking my little Flexlight Air chair. It's only a pound, and it's fabulous, so I'm not leaving home without it. Um, this is my first few days of food. Um, it weighs in at almost four pounds. Um, now, that's also minus a couple little things I picked up today. I'm going to throw um, some donut bites. Uh, Krispy Kreme now has donut bites. They are amazing, so um, we are taking some of those for snacks and for breakfasty stuff. Um, here is my food koozie that I, you have seen on the food video. So that's my food koozie. Here is my um, fuel and my camp pot with my um, stove already in there. I am going to bring a little tarp. This is like a little 5x7 tarp. Um, may not need it, but I figured, you know, because a lot of the campsites have um, picnic tables. So I figured if it was raining, which we probably will get rained on several times because of the weather moving through. Um, so I figured if, you know, there's a little place that we could maybe cover in a tarp and we could actually sit out instead of sitting in our tents the whole time, it might make it a little bit more comfortable. Um, and then I've got my TP and my trowel. So, um, I got a first aid kit. I've got to go through it and take out things that I don't really need. Um, but I take a leave, so I need to make sure I've got some leave, um, in there. Billy got this little, um, light AF, um, hip, um, hip belt pouch because I don't have hip belts on my bag. He gave this to me, so I appreciate that a lot. Um, this is a dry sack that has my clothes in it. Um, I have a set of camp clothes. I have an extra set of socks, um, and yeah, that's what I have in there. Oh, and some deodorant. Yes, I know it's weight, but um, it's going to be hot and I don't want to be stinky. Even though Billy loves me, I don't think he would want to be near me that much. Um, I do have a smart water bottle um, that's going to be um, going to fill up with water. I'm going to have another one of those, um, possibly two more of those um, in my pack. And then I've got, of course, my trekking poles. I've got some batteries that I'm going to put in my Garmin. I'm going to bring my Garmin. I got my headlamp just in case I need it. Um, somebody threw their trash on the table. Um, this is some jelly packets that I got um, for my lunches. I need to put that in with my food um, so I can have my peanut butter and jelly tortillas. And here is my little tripod selfie stick so that I can keep y'all informed and set my tripod up and do some hopefully some pretty cool shots um and because i have unruly hair especially after a day or two i'll have my little barrettes that i can hold it back and my little sweatband kind of thing to keep it out of my face here's my phone charger um i have a couple of dry sacks that i'm going to sit some stuff down into um, that in case, you know, in case it does rain, that's my puppy that you see wandering around my feet. Um, I do have a little map here that I bought of the Foothills Trail. So, um, a lot of you have seen these type maps for the AT. Um, but this is, um, a Coney State Park over here. And here is how the trail kind of goes. And maybe we'll just show you on here, um throughout the days of, you know, hey, here's where we are, hey, here's where we are, um, just so you can kind of see. On the other side, it has a little bit more um, of the mileage information. 
and where some of the campgrounds are. Um, this map does not really show all of the campgrounds, but if you will look at their interactive map, it is amazing and awesome, and it will show you every campsite they have, including campsites that they um, no longer use. Um, I think they're doing reclamation on some of it, so they don't, they don't want you to use some of those um, campsites, but you do see where they are. Um, and something else I do is um, I make just a, like a little checklist for me. Um, the only thing I don't have so far is my comb because I do use that, you know, kind of every day. And I had to work today, so um, I didn't put it in my bag yet. And then just the last thing is my little hat that y'all saw, which I love. And then the clothes that I'm going to wear um, to hike in. So just a pair of shorts, um, a tank top, and... Um, a pair of darn tough socks. So yeah, that's what's going to go in my pack. Um, I think I'll go ahead and set the, the camera up on the tripod and I will pack my pack um, and just kind of maybe speed up the video through that so that um, maybe we can all laugh at me packing my backpack um, with all of this fun stuff. Um, I am going to put a garbage bag down in the pack to help things stay dry like i said we i know we're gonna hit some rain so um i just you know that added layer of protection i'll really like um we do have a kitty cat that's trying to help us pack everything but all she's really doing is just getting in the way um something the last thing that i just wanted to mention um is when you're going on a, a longer hike, um, you, it's a good idea to kind of get a, just a, an idea of where you're going to be each day if possible and give that itinerary to somebody who um, will pay attention if you're not where you're, you're supposed to be. Um, you know, if you're supposed to come off the trail on, you know, the 30th and it's now the 31st and nobody has heard from you, it's, you know, it'd be a nice thing for somebody to come look for you if you needed it. So, um, you know, make a copy of your itinerary. Give it to somebody who's going to miss you um, if you don't show up where you're supposed to. So, um, that's just my little, my little soapbox on that. So, I will set up my camera and I will show you me packing my pack in very, very fast motion here in just a few minutes. trail through hike we are going to do 76.2 miles uh, we've broken it down to about 11 miles a day so we are really excited the packs are ready it's already in the car uh, I, this is probably going to be the last video before we actually get done I don't know that I can upload during the hike they say we have decent signal but I'm not sure yet so I will be editing videos and making videos the whole time and then uh, once we get off trail, I will go ahead and um, publish and upload uh, as many as I can, as quickly as I can, so that you can follow us. Hopefully, we'll get some really great footage. Um, there's supposed to be fantastic waterfalls, and all the videos that I've seen so far show fantastic uh, waterfalls. 
there's been a lot of rain over the last couple days in the area, so um, the water should be flowing really, really well. Hopefully we don't have to turn back anywhere. I know that in some of the areas they've had some pretty bad flooding, but I don't think it's close to that area. So we should be okay. Um, I do, I didn't show you on my pack, but I'll show you tomorrow when we're actually on trail. I have a thermometer that I bought, just a cheap little whatever, so that we know the trail temp wherever we are. And I will update you as to what the temps are throughout the hike. So um, you know how hot it is where we're hiking, because it is supposed to be very hot the whole time. But uh, until, until the next video where, where we are actually on trail, I hope everyone has a fantastic week. And I'll need everybody, until our videos come out, to get out and live a great story.